Thursday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time 2nd of September 2021 First reading Reading from the Book of Colossians Ever since the day we heard about you, we have never failed to pray for you, and what we ask God is that through perfect wisdom and spiritual understanding you should reach the fullest knowledge of his will so you will be able to lead the kind of life which the Lord expects of you, a life acceptable to him in all his aspects, showing the results in all the good actions you do and increasing your knowledge of God. You will have in you the strength, based on its own glorious power, never to give in, but to bear anything joyfully, thanking the Father who has made it possible for you to join the saints and with them to inherit the light, because that is what he has done. He has taken us out of the power of darkness and created a place for us in the kingdom of the Son that he loves. And in him, we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. Responsorial Psalm The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord for all the earth. Bring out your joy. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing psalms to the Lord with a harp with a sound of music. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Through the good news, God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Gospel Reading from the book of Luke Jesus was standing one day by the lake of Gennesaret with the crowds pressing around him, listening to the word of God, when he caught sight of two boats close to the bank. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, it was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and pay out your nets for a catch. Master, Simon replied, We worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I'll pay out the nets. And when they'd done this, they netted such a huge number of fish that their nets began to tear. So they signalled to their companions in the other boat to come and help them. When these came, they filled the two boats to a sinking point. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus, saying, Leave me, Lord, I am a sinful man, for he and all his companions were completely overcome by the catch they had made. So also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were Simon's partners. But Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on it is men you will catch. Then, bringing their boats back to land, they left everything and followed him. Gospel of the Lord.